Hey everybody, Mike McWilliams, Upstairs to the Right Music Channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. I'd like to do a review of an instrument that I bought three years ago. It is my Harley Benton uh, ooh, JB75 VT series bass. Um, now, I purchased this bass guitar uh, about three years ago in order to replace a Fender Jazz bass uh, that I had bought uh, that I got offered a great a deal for and I sold it, but I needed to replace it with something that I thought that was at least comparable in terms of the tone. Uh, boy, I wasn't disappointed when I got this Harley Benton Jazz bass, the JB75 VT series bass. I've used this bass for primarily recording and I found it to be quite similar in tone to the bass guitar that it replaced, the Fender uh, Japan a jazz bass that I had. And not only that, but in terms of the feel of the neck, even the, the weight of the body, which is quite substantial, uh, everything rang true to that Fender bass that I was trying to replace, so much so that I honestly cannot tell the difference between the two of them. Uh, once I sold that one and I bought this one uh, I haven't missed a beat really in terms of playing a good setup of course out of the box is needed but other than that I've had no problems you know these budget bases are considered to be a step up kind of system a young person uh, who's interested in taking up bass they usually buy a budget bass like this one and then later on they'll graduate up to a more expensive one but i will tell you in the case of this harley benton jazz bass that there is no need to ever step up quite frankly this is a professional instrument you can gig with this obviously as i've stated i've recorded with it um, this will take you all the way through your bass playing career um, without any need to upgrade anything. Uh, now, I'm quite a tinkerer as you know, uh, but since I've owned this bass guitar, I have changed nothing on it. I'm quite satisfied with the pickups, the hardware. A lot of people will tell you that there's issues with these tuners here, but quite frankly, these machine heads, I've had no problem with. They're consistent. Uh, they keep this bass in tune. I can tune it up, set it aside for a week, come back to it, and it's still in tune, which is a great sign for any instrument, uh, regardless of the price that you paid. So again, I don't want you to think of this, because I certainly don't, as a budget bass. I want you to think of it as a really viable um, alternative to some of the more expensive counterparts that it has out there. Uh, the money that you save uh, buying this, and I believe these can be had for still under $180 US, uh, about 169 euros, I believe, is what it's going for over here. But still, a very, very inexpensive base under $200 or euros, depending upon what you're looking at there, uh, what you're spending. And uh, just, just awesome. Uh, you can look at the back. You can tell that this is made of one, two, three pieces of wood. So it's a three-piece body. And uh, it is quite substantial in weight, as I pointed out. A lot of people will point that out to you. But quite frankly, I've never had a bass guitar that wasn't. <laughs> I guess if you want something lighter, you go for it. Uh, I don't know if the weight will give you a better tone or a lighter one will give you a better tone. It really is a down to which one will give you a better chiropractor bill. <laughs> In my case, I don't mind. I play sitting down because like I said, this is for recording. If I were to gig this bass, ooh, that would be a tough one because again, like I said, it is weighty. But then again, my Fender Jazz bass was the same exact weight as this one. So there is that to consider. Um, again, my three-year review of this bass guitar is it's a buy, um, especially if you're into rock music, uh, certainly the jazz uh, music uh, that this was uh, supposedly uh, made to, to kind of uh, to be used for back in the day, but more rock guys use this. That's what I've used it myself. Uh, I've used a jazz bass for rock. 
uh, since the beginning. I've always played a jazz bass. I've never played a P bass. And um, I've owned several from PVs to Fenders and now a Harley Benton that I cannot more than uh, enthusiastically uh, recommend uh, to all of you out there who are interested in getting a bass guitar. Don't look at it as a budget bass guitar. Look at it as a bass guitar. Now, your mileage may vary. Certainly, there may be some things uh, on it uh, that you may want to change. Uh, but just uh, out of the box, you really don't need to. Uh, the knobs on this, another complaint that people got. I don't know if I just got a good one. And interestingly enough, this was a B stock. I su surmise that probably it was returned because of the weight. Somebody just wasn't digging that. But other than that, the build on this B stock model that I bought, so I got it even cheaper, uh, has been excellent. Uh, I've had no problems with the knobs. They turn great. Uh, I've had no problems, again, like I said, with the machine heads. I've had no problems with this bass guitar. So, in some nation, I can say that this is for the money, your best bet to have a lifelong bass guitar. You could gig this from day one until, you know, the last one. <laughs> your last. And not be unhappy with it and not be missing out on anything either. Uh, really, uh, Tomon knocked it out of the park with this particular instrument. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Uh, I have no intention upon uh, ever purchasing another bass guitar. This one is now set up and, and sounding exactly the way that I expect a good bass guitar to sound like. Certainly, in that regard, it is a great bass guitar. So there's that to take with you. Well, that's it, guys. That's my review of the Harley Benton uh, Jazz Bass JB75 VT series that I've owned for three years. So three years later, my thoughts on it. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you enjoyed the content of this channel, please hit that like button. It really does help the algorithms on YouTube. If you like this content a lot, why don't you join us and subscribe? We have a growing community here. Our goal is to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And with your help, I think that we can do it. So please consider signing up, subscribing with this channel. And until the next one, you guys take care. Bye-bye.